It's still full, baby. <laughs> this is gonna take me to the end of time. Hi, my name is Nafisa and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about some products that I will never be getting rid of as long as they keep making them. Now, what are these products? I actually don't think they make them anymore. But Amazon seems to have like a couple. Um, and I'll just have to try out some different versions, which I have and nothing has replaces, but let's get into it. So the first and most important, because I know this product is probably never gonna come back and it makes me so, so sad. So, so sad because one, I missed the first launch. I got the second launch and it's literally still full because I use it so sparingly, but it's so strong that you don't have to use a lot and I appreciate her for this. But this is the Artist Couture Jackie Ina collaboration in lebron's you see it's still it's still full baby <laughs> this is gonna take me to the end of time i'm telling you the the little amount that i use i literally take the cap and run my brush across the cap because i'm not shaking nothing out of this here highlighter because this is the best one i've ever found i haven't found anything better than this and i probably never will but let's Let's pray we do, okay? Next one we're gonna get into is the Sephora Micro Smooth. This is shade Toffee. This makes my makeup blend and just makes everything so co cohesive. <laughs> uh, like my contour goes into my blush, goes into my foundation, all because of this pure product. I think it's like $18 and I hit pan on my first one, literally scraping the sides. Like, it, it's that good. This is gonna be a very short video. Just gonna warn ya. But, uh, next product is Blue Mixing Pigment. This is from LA Girl Pro Color. I know I may look a little golden on camera, but I'm not. Let's just, I'm very gray. I don't get sun. I don't leave my house, really, because I work from home and I have a baby. Um, so this makes me look, well, makes my makeup look better because it actually matches my skin. I'm not orange. I'm not that yellow. I lean more towards neutral. So this helps me out tremendously. Elf Micro Grip, um, Power Grip, sorry. Elf Power Grip. I've tried tons of uh, primers. This is the only thing that, that makes my makeup stay. And it's cheap. Anything by e.l.f. is gonna be cheap, if you know you know. Sonia Kashik, I think, makes these sponges. But they're made for body, right? So they're humongous. <laughs> but being that I have a large face, Yes, it helps me get my makeup done faster. It does have a flat side and then a round side, but I'm able to do different parts of my face with this one sponge. Like this is for my concealer. This is for my whole face. Sometimes I'll use this little end to blend in my contour. It's just perfect. I don't have to get up and get a new sponge for different things that I'm trying to do. Also, oh, my setting powder. So me and setting powders, powders have beef, okay? So I've tried Le Mercier. I've tried um, several types of banana powders. Again, I'm not that yellow, so it doesn't look right on me. Um, translucent mediums, I haven't tried too many other brands in translucent so i might have to considering the fact that i don't think they make this product anymore 
Um, but this is CoverGirl Clean Professional in translucent, trans, I can't talk, translucent medium. Um, but yeah, it's not too yellow. It's not too beige. It's perfect for my skin tone, right? Like it's not too dark, like where I can still set my under eye. But if I needed to in a pinch, I could set my whole face with it and not look casket ready, okay? And the last product, um, not to forget, my Morphe brushes, I do have more of these. These are just what I use for my face today. Um, anything about Morphe, I've had these brushes. They last well, they wash well. I rarely have any bristles fall out. They've held up throughout the years. Uh, and I got those when I first started doing makeup. Uh, like I got serious about my brush game when I think it was like 2018, 2019. Are you supposed to keep brushes that long? I highly doubt it, but they're still here and I keep them clean. So that's all that matters. Any type of Fenty gloss bomb. Uh, this is chocolate heat. I also have the pink one. I forgot fussy maybe um but any of these are my go-to's as far as lips especially this is the heat one um so it plumps your lips i do have braces so that makes my lips bigger than they are but i do not have big lips like i want to have big lips i have big lips now because i have braces <laughs> that's about it so oh also milani i swear this is my last one um but milani make it last is my favorite setting spray. I got the biggest one that they have. I think Walmart sells this for like 14 or $15 because the little ones uh, that are usually at Ulta, I just go through them way too fast. So I have to get the big one of these. It is good for setting your face, priming your face in between steps. Um, but yeah, it's just overall really good. It does smell like straight alcohol, but the product lasts. I do compare this to Urban Decay's All Night set Setting Spray. Um, it's very comparable. It makes my makeup last just as long and it's half of the price. That is what is important. That's my favorite products that I hope. And well, well, one, I will never take them out of my routine. And two, I hope they will never discontinue them. Aside from Artist Couture, uh, Jackie Ina. I know they're probably never gonna make this ever again, but she's lasted me this long and it's not going anywhere. <laughs> so if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe and I hope you have a wonderful day.